Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we're going to meet Justin, and later maybe Kirsten. She's on the phone call right now, so yeah. she's not here. Yeah. And you live in a school bus, mm -hmm. and uh, just the two of you, of course. Uh, and our five kids. Oh, five kids. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, yeah. you would need a school bus with the two of you and five kids. Yeah, yeah. No, we needed a fairly large school bus, so yeah. we ended up with a uh, 1997 Thomas MVP safety liner. And it's like the full 40 feet with a flat nose and the engine on the back. So that way we could utilize pretty much all the space. Yes. Because we needed it all for the for all the kids. Well, that just begs so many questions. <laughs> Why is a young couple on a bus? Why five kids? Right. Why a bus? Right. So tell us your story. Yeah. Well, so probably like four years ago, uh, you know, I was working in advertising, you know, and it was a pretty much full-time gig and I didn't have much time to spend with the family. And I think my wife was like, okay, the heck with this, I'm going on a road trip with the kids. I was like, okay, that's fine. So she, during the summer, while they were out of school, she piled them all into the minivan and drove up through the States to Canada. It was like a couple month process. And uh, through that, I think it, she kind of got the travel bug through that, right? And she realized that the kids not only were able to do it, they loved it. Uh, that she liked it and it kind of I think planted a seed in her mind about maybe having a more mobile lifestyle there, there was something there uh, so she approached me with the idea of a school bus which I, I just kind of laughed it off like it was kind of ridiculous at the time we only had four kids so I was like no not we're definitely not doing four kids in a school bus and, but then I started thinking about it you know and and I think the appeal of living a mobile lifestyle that's not hard to talk me into right i mean the adventure of it being more closely connected with the outdoors um all that really really connected with me but it's all the other things that start kind of cropping up in your mind like how are we going to pay for it uh is this socially responsible what about the kids you know all these different questions right. and i think they're good questions they're very good questions uh but i think that if you stop at that point if those questions stop you from taking the next step, I think you end up on, on possibly missing out on something really, really cool because the idea and the adventure of it all, I think, is appealing to a lot of people, but it's all those other questions that people just can't get past. And uh, things just kind of naturally evolved. And as we started thought about all these different little hurdles, eventually I got to the point where I quit my job and we bought this school bus uh, and I spent a year converting it uh, doing doing all the work um, and, and part of that year I was working full-time uh, at my job and so I was just doing it over the weekend so it was very slow uh, progress uh, to the point where you know we were fully committed I quit my job and then spent three months finishing it out before we hit the road so so that raises the question how are you supporting yourself on the road yeah so my wife uh, has her business uh, she sells uh, Young Living essential oils and um, she started that a couple of years ago, and when she first approached the idea, I didn't think it would really take off, uh, or I wasn't sure. It was like something new that she was trying, and and uh, and basically I set the challenge out to her that if you know at a certain point when she was making more than I was at my job, I'd quit my job, and within a year that's what the case was. So uh, we basically we live off her income right now, and. Well, uh, tell us about how people can contact her uh, for that. Right. Uh, she has a uh, blog, uh, cheerfullyimperfect.com. Uh, Cheerfully Imperfect. Cheerfully Imperfect. Okay. Dot com, yeah. Yeah. So that's probably the best way to, to reach her on that. Um, but one nice thing about this lifestyle that we found is that there is a bit of flexibility with the finances. Mm -hmm. If there's a particularly tough month, we can slow down. We can find some place to park and hold out for a while, and uh, you and know, look pretty cheap. Exactly. I mean, in in a next month we're going to do some camp posting, right? And so we're going to do that for four months, and we're going to kind of set up roots there for for a little bit and uh, save some money, and then that way, come summertime, we got a little extra in the savings account. And uh, but th there's there's a lot of flexibility with that, which is great, you know, when. Um, before you know you, you don't have that option right this this lifestyle has definitely afforded us some freedom in that regard so mm -hmm. it's, it's quite nice yeah 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 um and so why a schoolie i mean your first thought is well we'll just buy an rv 
Yeah, uh, I, you know, it's funny. I don't think I ever really considered an RV. Uh, it was never really something to consider. I'm, maybe financially, you know, that, that was a little out of our price range, at least for the size that we would need with, with the, the five kids. Um, I don't know. There's We approached the idea of traveling with the idea of being in a school bus, and I never really got distracted from that idea. I think there's just something very unique about it. Um, and to me, part of the appeal was learning how to do it, right? So having no background in any of this, having to learn how to do my own plumbing, electrical, carpentry, diesel mechanics, uh, all this stuff is just like, it's all new. And, and so the process of learning all that, uh, the, the challenge of that, I think was quite enjoyable. And it was also really neat, too, because there's such a great community of people out there. There is. That once you start working on it, the the help that I got, uh, the advice I was given, people that came out and helped me, uh, it was fantastic to see that community. Um, and I, I think you kind of miss that, I think, if you just run straight to an RV. At least in my mind, that's that was the appeal to, to kind of going the school bus route. Um, was kind of tapping into this really unique and interesting community of people uh, and, and learning, you know, a lot of new things, so, yeah. Um, to me, a big reason is just the low quality of a school bus, of RV. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of practical uh, reasons, you know, the, the durability and quality, um, you know, a school bus is, <laughs> I mean, this thing is a tank, right? Um, right. The fact that we can customize it to exactly how uh, how it would work for our family and, and for our needs and what we do with it. Um, and then, of course... Are you saying that RVs aren't made for five kids? <laughs> <laughs> well, they're they're kind of far and in between and, yeah. and uh, definitely out of our price range. And to be honest with you, like the, the really you know big ones, the really fancy ones, it just isn't our style. Right. Uh, you know, they look nice. Don't get me wrong. They're really nice, and and there's times where I'm enviable of the comfort, but it's just not my style. No. Or like you know the the fact that I can look around this bus and I can remember when I was cutting that piece of wood, or the day that you know my son and, and I had all the kids help me. Right. This was a family project, and you know the and kids. How wrote, much did they learn in the process? Oh, exactly. Yeah. Wow. I mean, I think for them one of the biggest things to learn is that they can do something like this. Right. right. Uh, that, you know, if, if you have something that you're thinking about, a dream or whatever, that you can actually go ahead and do it, uh, which I think is, is a pretty valuable lesson. So one of the questions that I'm sure you dealt with right away uh, was socializing with your kids because mm -hmm. I think it's been well shown that homeschooled kids can be as educated as well as anybody. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, but socializing is always an issue. How did yeah. you guys address that issue? Yeah, and that's that's still a tough issue. That's still kind of an ongoing thing because, you know, there'll be times where we're traveling through certain areas where we don't see a lot of other families on the road, right? And so we go through stretches where the kids don't have someone to play with uh, or to socialize with. And uh, so that can be tough. Um, we definitely take our time and cherish the moments where we do find another family or uh, a schoolie get-together or something where they can meet other kids. Um, and I think that's that's important to take the time when we find that and and let them experience that. Uh, but it is it is difficult, and and that's one thing that we you know is kind of always in the back of our mind. Um, but it is also interesting. On the other hand, too, they tend to socialize more with people that are a little bit older. And right. I remember this from my own upbringing, like growing up in in, in the Yukon territories, uh, very very isolated. You know, we grew up in the woods and. And so a lot of the socializing I had was with my parents' friends and right. uh, people that were older than me. And I, I don't totally discount that as an interesting social skill to have as well. So, Well, that's the one th that would be my next comment, that mm -hmm. when you kids do grow up mainly around adults, it's amazing how well they get along with other adults. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah. Your, uh, other adults come along and think, wow, these are the best behaved kids I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because... It's just that's expected. Yeah, they, they, they learn those social interactions. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. I don't. I no, don't I think know. it's good. I think it's good. It's yeah, certainly good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I you know I think it would be bad if that was all, all there was to it. Yeah. Right. No, I think it's 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 very important for them to have time to socialize with kids their own age. Right. So, and 
you know, there's uh, five of them. So there's a little bit of socializing that happens between them. So, yeah. But, you know, we're, we're always on the lookout for, for other kids for them to play with. So here we are, and we haven't seen your kids. Uh, so where are your kids? Oh, they're out playing. Just out playing. Yeah, yeah. No, Enjoying it's... nature. Yeah, yeah. They. Uh... And I, I can see your wife. She's got a couple of them with her. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's, uh, we say we, um, we store our stuff inside, but we live outside. Right. Um, that's not a bad way to live. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's great. You know, it's, when we told a lot of our friends what we were doing, you know, five kids, school bus, are you crazy? I'm like, well, I'm not looking at it in the fact that we're suddenly reducing our, our floor plan. We're expanding it, right? Our square footage has now gone infinite because we're suddenly in such amazing areas that, you know, we spend little time in the bus. We're out wandering around and, and, mm -hmm. and uh, so, and in a lot of ways we haven't downsized, we've upsized. Yes. So People ask me how I can live in a van and I say, well, the van's tiny. Yeah. Well, my backyard is enormous. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No one has a bigger backyard than I do. Yeah. Yeah. So, and you too, of course. Yeah. 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 So, but, you know, it's, it is, it is an adventure though with, with the kids, like just, uh, you know, on travel days, you know, making sure that you're not traveling too long before everyone starts melting down. Right. Making sure there's enough time to, to stop, set up camp, make dinner. Um, so there's a bit of a, an art that one has to learn and adapt to while, while traveling with kids, for sure. So how long has it been now that you've been on the road? Uh, seven months. Seven months. And yeah. It's kind of starting out, but that's yeah. enough time to form some opinions. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, when I think back to the even the first couple months, uh, you know, the amount of learning that uh, we had to do just those couple months and how stressful it was trying to figure things out. Uh, I feel like in, in now coming up seven months, we've definitely learned a lot along the way. So, mm -hmm. Any regrets? Anything you do differently? Oh, there's tons of things I do differently. Uh, zero regrets. Um, but there's a, there's a lot of things I do differently in terms of, you know, the school bus I buy or, you know, the layout or, you know, different things that I would have bought or not bought or, right. you know, just all those technical details. Um, uh, but that is evidence that I've learned a few things along the way. So, right. uh, but s certainly no regrets. Um, yeah. Okay, well, any anything else? Uh, we'll move on to take a, uh, take a tour, but anything yeah. else? Wanting... No, no. That's... No regrets? This is what you're glad you did. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, you know, it, when we started it, we were kind of thinking we'd give it a year, right? See how we like it after a year, reassess, see how the kids are doing, um, which is, I think, the, the sort of... Uh, it's the thing that we... Are kind of gauging everything by right for my for myself i mean i could do this for the rest of my life right and i think with my wife as well we we love doing this but after a year we'll see how the kids are doing see if they still like it and if we need to make some adjustments there we'll we'll do that so so would you uh mind look showing us around showing us your no, rig it's yeah it is gorgeous oh, thank I you i appreciate that is, i appreciate uh, that i'm a wood guy and oh, okay wow yeah yeah no thank you yeah no it was uh like I said, the, the learning the carpentry was it was a new thing, and and so from where I started to where I well I'm not that unfinished, but to where I kind of ended up before we hit the road, uh, there was a lot of learning that happened between the two ends of the bus. So, yeah. well, so I very much appreciate uh, you taking the time to share your bus with us, your lives with us. It's I think it's really inspiring and will help a lot of people. Thank you. Yeah, thank Thanks. you. For you all out there, I hope you got inspired and. Learn that no matter what your background is, you can do this too. So we'll see you later, and until then, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you later.